what is up everybody welcome back to my video i hope y'all have an amazing day as usual so i'm back with another youtube video and today we have a very beautiful background as you can see got a beautiful lake and then the park because we are back at branchbrook park in newark before we get into today's video please make sure to like subscribe and comment down below it really really helps out the videos so this was actually a, a request from a viewer um to come to Tony's Hot Dogs Truck in Newark. And I originally viewed um, Chris Red Hots, which um, has a somewhat viral TikTok account. It's not, you know, super viral, but it's a, um, has a pretty decent following. So I decided to go there. And that, that was also in Branchbrook Park. That's further at the top of Branchbrook Park. Um, around here, it's right on Park Avenue, right by the Branchbrook Park Lake. And in a prettier setting. He said that to, um, you should definitely try Tony's hot dogs because uh, Chris Hot Red Hots is massively overrated. He said that um, they don't use uh, thick enough um, hot dogs, which is kind of true. And um, that is one thing I did complain about in the review. Hot dog was really good at Chris Red Hots, and I still went back a couple times. So I like the place, um, <clears throat> but. We're going to give Tony's a try. I think Tony's has been around for um, a little bit longer than Chris Red Hot's. Um, I think they've both been around for a little while. But um, the first thing we're going to do is... Uh, I should just take off my gloves. It's a cold one today. It's about 40, maybe 35, something like that right now. And don't ask me why I got a Pepsi. <laughs> a cold Pepsi. What are they like today? Last time I got a um, relish onion and mustard dog, which is my favorite. Um, but today I decided to switch it up and get a chili cheese for three twenty-five. Um, oh, they gave me a straw. You see, that's I love places that do that because sipping things out of a straw just feels better. And the same thing like with a cup. I feel like for some reason Coca-Cola takes tastes ten times better when it's in a cup. I don't know what it is. Even just the straw makes the experience. The soda just tastes better. I don't know what it is, guys. Some kind of secret, I'll tell you that. All right. I'm gonna put the Pepsi on this bag so it doesn't fly away. And this, I'll just have to keep in the bag so it doesn't, also doesn't fly away. The chili cheese right here. As you can see, again, not the most appealing thing in the world <laughs> but um it's a hot dog it's not really supposed to be you know a beautiful thing you know it's just supposed to be delicious messy and tasty okay so let's try it mm. they use better buns this is better than chris red hots the guy um made that comment though lied it's the same size hot dog but maybe that was in the past and they changed i don't know inflation is you know affecting a lot of things so they might not have the money for the um bigger sausages mm. Mm -hmm. but this is a very tomato -y chili you can tell that they really put a lot of tomato and onion in there which is really fine for me that's actually how I like it, so. Mm. What's funny is I totally didn't intend this or anything. I actually just thought about it now. Last time I reviewed a Pepe, Pepsi drink. Pepsi's my favorite soda, so I got a Pepsi. And... I didn't even really think about it <laughs> until now. Um, but what would I rate this out of five? I'd rate it a five. Tony's, I highly recommend it. And yes, it's slightly better than Chris Red Hot's. Not massively better or anything like that. It's not, you know, super better, but you should definitely try both. I think there's also a place called JJ Hot Dogs as well. I'm not, I think they're on Bluefield Ave. 
but yeah newark is a very underrated city for their street food um newark has a lot of halal carts down in downtown so if you're in downtown they have really really good halal gyros um lamb over rice fish over rice just really good food for pretty cheap too i think like a, a chicken over rice is like six bucks this was 350 which is not the cheapest price for a hot dog i think uh chris red hot well this is actually well this is a chili cheese dog if you get like just an original it's 250 which is a bit um a bit cheaper but mm. but if you want to if you want something that's going to take you right to Flavortown, get the chili cheese. Mm. Mm. The cheese thing is a cheese whiz, but so what? I don't have anything wrong with cheese whiz. It's pretty good. And um, this is so good that the little cheese and chili parts that are on the wrapper, I'm just going to eat. Why not? I hate wasting food. You guys are probably looking at me like, Drew, this is disgusting. I apologize for that. It's pretty nasty. All right, well, we're going to put this back in the bag. And, um, oh, I also want to say, there's also plenty of hot dog trucks. Newark has a really good hot dog scene obviously that's why we're making this video um and in the summertime there's plenty of street vendors um that serve italian ice or as uh the hispanics call it piraguas which i think just means um water ice anyways and then you got the beautiful branch park. park look at this background guys this is incredible branch park, park has beautiful architecture look at that bridge and branch park, park was actually designed I believe by the same person who designed Central Park. So, you just got a beautiful um, experience all around. Yeah, Newark's a really underrated city. And uh, if you're ever going to go to Branchville Park, like if you're from Union, obviously Essex, Passaic County, Hudson County, check out Branchville Park. And we have this right towards sunset. It's like 4.30 right now. So I think it's actually about around five because I, the days are getting longer by like 30 seconds every day. So that's okay for me. And this little bridge right here, I went to um, Amsterdam because my mother's side has uh, relatives that are Dutch. And this reminds me straight up of Amsterdam. Amsterdam is one of my favorite cities in the world. I would probably say it's better than New York City actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that, but it's a pretty, pretty cool city. If you love bikes, check out Amsterdam. Um, I was riding my uh, my bike, so the helmet kind of got in the way of my hair. It's not too bad, though. I think it looks pretty good, except for this freaking thing that always. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know by now, I'm pretty crazy about the way my hair looks. Um, but yeah, like I said. Newark, you know, has gotten a bad reputation for a long time, but I would say that it's a pretty nice city. You know, there's really only, and this is just like any other city. There's two parts of the city, the south and west sides that you got to avoid. If you stay in North Newark, chances are you're going to be okay. If you stay in downtown or Ironbound, you're very safe. And around here, there's just a lot to do in Newark. And you should definitely come here during the springtime because around, um, March and April, late March, early April, that's when you come for the cherry blossoms. They are beautiful. That's going to be for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and God bless all you guys.